Hello, I am Dr. Shibin Samson Uman, Junior Resident, uh, Department of Radio Diagnosis from KSIGDA Medical Academy, Bangalore. I am presenting a paper on the role of neurosonogram in germinal matrix hemorrhage. Uh, coming to the background, germinal matrix in intraventricular hemorrhage is one of the most common devastating intracranial complications in preterm neonates, especially those born before 32 weeks of gestation and very low birth weight infants. The gold standard for diagnosing germinal matrix hemorrhage has been high resolution real time cranial ultrasound which has a 96% sensitivity and 94% specificity for identifying intracranial hemorrhage. The aim of the study is to assess the role of neurosonogram in evaluation of germinal matrix hemorrhage in neonates admitted in NICU. Introduction Neurosonogram is an essential and emerging part of routine neonatal care, particularly in case of preterm neonates. NSG is easily available non-invasive investigation modality for neonatal cranium showing normal brain development and any congenital or acquired abnormalities of perinatal brain as well as brain injuries in preterm neonates. In days following the delivery, preterm neonates are susceptible to brain injuries commonly intraventricular hemorrhage periventricular hemorrhage and white matter injury, the reason for which is not truly understood but attributed to fragile cerebral vasculature. German matrix hemorrhage can be classified into four based on the NSG findings. And they are grade 1, German matrix hemorrhage alone, grade 2 with intraventricular hemorrhage but without uh, ventricular dilatation, grade 3 intraventricular hemorrhage with ventricular dilatation and grade 4 with intraparenchymal hemorrhage. So in a coronal view there are four uh, views that we use to assess the fetal head. So the first one is transfrontal plane, then the transcordate, transcelamic and transcerebellar plane. So the transfrontal plane we have the interhemispheric fissure is visible between the two frontal lobes, the sphenoid bone forming the root of the orbits as well as the orbits themselves are also visible. In transcordate plane, the two frontal horns are displayed on either side of the CSP. Cross section of anterior part of the body of corpus callosum is also evident as mildly hypoechoic band on top of the CSP and between the frontal horns. The transcelamic plane, the thalami and insulae are indicated. In transcerebellar plane, the hospital horns of the lateral ventricles and cerebellar are seen. In the different images, we can see the body of corpus callosum, splenium genu, rostrum, uh, cordothalamic groove, brainstem, fourth ventricle, and vermis. And the second image, and we can see the transcelamic plane. Third image, we can see the transcerebellar plane. In the fourth one, we can see the transfrontal and transcordate plane. And the last one, showing the cerebral vasculature. The methods what we use in the study type is an observational study. Study design is a cross section descriptive study. Study setting, uh, just as care sick day, charitable hospital, rest to Nitya University. Uh, study duration is from 1-10-2022 to 30-10-2023. Study population units who are admitted in NICU of just as care sick day, charitable hospital, Bangalore. The sample size was 30 and inclusion criteria units admitted in NICU who are referred to the radiology department <coughs> for routine energy study and are diagnosed with general matrix sandwich. Neurosonogram will be performed using sonocyte Fujifilm Turbo with 5 MHz phased array probe in the NIC. <coughs> the observations and results. Among the subjects uh, out of the 30 cases, 18 were males and 12 were females. And uh, 12 cases were preterm, 16 cases were term, and 2 were post term. Uh, out of the total 30 cases, we classified the neonates based on the birth weight. Uh, so, one case was less than 1000, 10 cases between 1000 and 2000, 18 cases were between 2000 and 3000 and one case was more than 3000 grams. And all 30 neonates were diagnosed with uh, general matrix hemorrhage and out of this 46 percentage had grade 1, 26 percentage had grade 2 and 20 percentage grade 3 and 6 percentage grade 4 hemorrhage. Out of the 12 preterm neonates, 3 had grade 1 hemorrhage, 5 had grade 2 hemorrhage, 2 had grade 3, 
and 2 had grade 4 hemorrhage. Out of the 16 term units, 10 had grade 1 hemorrhage, 2 had grade 2, 4 had grade 3 hemorrhage. Out of the 2 post term units, 1st neonate had grade 1 hemorrhage, 2nd neonate had grade 2 hemorrhage. The neonates with birth weight below 1000 had grade 3 hem German matrix hemorrhage. Among the neonates between 1000 and 2000, 12 cases at grade 1, 5 cases grade 2, and 1 case of grade 3 hemorrhage. Among the neonates between 2000 and 3000 gram, 2 cases at grade 1, 2 cases at grade 2, 4 cases with grade 3, and 2 cases with grade 4 hemorrhage is noted. And uh, the neonate with 3000, more than 3000 gram uh, birth weight showed grade 2 hemorrhage. Coming to some of the images. Uh, first one we can see uh, a hyperechoic stripe in the left chordothalamic groove which is suggestive of grade 1 German matrix hemorrhage which is indicated by the white arrow. In the second image we can see hyperechoic changes in the right chordothalamic groove with ipsilateral bulky choroid plexus and, and it is suggestive of grade 2 German matrix hemorrhage. So the figure 3 hyperechoic changes in bilateral chordothalamic groove with extension into the third ventricle and mild dilatation of bilateral lateral ventricles are noted, which is suggestive of grade 3 German matrix hemorrhage. In the last picture, we can see bilateral German matrix hemorrhage with intraventricular and parenchymal hemorrhage, uh, right, left side more than left, uh, left side more than right, which is suggestive of grade 4 hemorrhage. Uh, discussion 30 cases of German matrix hemorrhage were enrolled in the study out of this. 12 cases were preterm, 16 were term, and 2 were post term. Of the 30 percent participants, 18 cases were females and 12, um, 18 cases were males and 12 were females. Birth weight were also recorded in all the cases. Among the 30 patients, 14 had grade 1 German matrix hemorrhage, 8 had grade 2 hemorrhage, 6 had grade 3 hemorrhage, and 2 showed grade 4 hemorrhage. Further on comparing the grade of hemorrhage with birth weight, the Fetus with the neonates with less than 1000 gram uh, showed grade 3 hemorrhage. Between 1000 and 2000 grams showed 18 cases of hemorrhage. Between 2000 and 3000 grams uh, weight category, 10 cases of hemorrhage. And lastly, more than 1000, one case of grade 2 hemorrhage was not. Nowadays, the use of neurosonogram screening for preterm neonates plays a crucial role in assessing their neuro neurodevelopmental outcome. Neurosonogram in identifying brain damage and its evolution is highly efficacious on regular follow-up which provides information that guides clinical decision and prognosis. Therefore, neurosonogram plays a potential role in preventive, protective and rehabilitative strategies in the management of critically ill neonates. This study concludes NSG as a choice of investigation modality in NICU which effectively documents neuroabnormalities as in more predominantly uh, German matrix sandwich.